I, yeah, I saw there's a question in uh, Slack. The question is about how the quality of service uh, effects captured in the model. So if uh, also can address this question, that'd be great. Uh, sure, could you repeat the question, please? Yeah, the question is uh, uh, maybe our Josh, if you are here, free, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question. So you can have a more yeah. discussion with Austin. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, thanks uh, for the nice presentation. So what I missed in the model is when you talk about this zero rating, it's uh, all about that somebody getting free data or uh, some uh, quality of service also matters in the decisions of the users and also between the uh, CP and IS contracts. So I wanted to see if uh, do you, does your model uh, accommodates any of these quality of services? Uh, thank you. That's a great question. Uh, so here we assume that the users are making decisions to increase their consumer surplus. The current model does not include the, uh, the quality of services, but the same thing could be applied to the quality of services changes. And instead of increasing the consumer surplus via zero rating relationships, the consumer surplus could change via the uh, quality of services. Uh, and ISPs and CPs make decisions based on the number of users that they could attract. So it could be incorporated in our model, but it is not currently being incorporated. And uh, our assumption is that uh, the quality of service stays the same as the content providers and ISPs offer zero rating. Okay, thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, any other question? Uh, I see another question on Slack from uh, Jaya Krishna. Uh, yeah, so thanks. Uh, I, yeah, Vishal did answer it uh, to some. I, I just want to clarify. So, in this model, you said the ISP is also a decision maker. So, does that mean that these sponsorship prices, if I remember, they were called P1 and P2 in your mm -hmm. model? Yes. Are those also set strategically by the ISP? Um, um, almost. So, we assume that the ISP prices are fixed in the beginning, but the ISPs could offer a bulk discount to the CPU. So by multiplying their data prices by delta, they could change their data prices. But uh, delta is always a bit smaller than one because it's the bulk discount offered to the CPUs. And yes, ISPs could change them strategically in order to attract more um, content providers to zero rate with them and as a result, attract more users. Understood. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, we still have a uh, five minutes for question and discussion. Again, uh, please feel free to unmute yourself. So maybe we move to the next uh, paper. Is there any more question? Uh, do we want to move to the next paper or wait until the... Uh... You know, we were a bit late. Uh, we are recovering probably the delay, right? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I'm yeah. yeah, I mean, if, if okay. there are no questions, I mean, we can, uh, we can move on, I think. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, 